from sushi to soup, seaweed appears in diets around the world and now it's providing an economic lifeline in remote parts of Indonesia. Fishermen in West Papua were struggling to make a living until they turned to harvesting seaweed. What you eat has an impact even in the remotest parts of the world. Take sushi, for example. The seaweed that wraps around your rice filling could mean the difference between poverty and a comfortable life for somebody else. 3,000 kilometers from the Indonesian capital Jakarta, here in West Papua, things are changing. The area has been plagued by conflict for decades, so it's been hard to reach and very poor. But today, a buyer from one of the country's biggest seaweed processors is visiting. Masyarakat pesisir bukan masyarakat yang terpinggirkan, tapi masyarakat pesisir itu adalah masyarakat yang punya peluang besar untuk bisa meningkatkan taraf hidupnya. Salah satunya melalui rumput laut. Iskak Indrayanmi has never been here before, but she's heard there's surprisingly good seaweed being produced here by farmers like Hassan Basri Haremba. He used to be a fisherman, but times were hard and it wasn't possible to fish all year round. Kesulitan saya di sini yang saya mengalami, Pak, yang saya mengalami ya kalau musim barat, Pak. Kalau musim barat itu sangat susah sekali untuk kita mencari. Karena anginnya cukup kencang, ombaknya cukup besar. Jadi saya sangat susah untuk mencari. In 2010, Basri switched to seaweed farming, with assistance from the government and the United Nations International Fund for Agricultural Development. At the time, the villagers knew nothing about seaweed, but fellow fisherman Abdul Halik Golap was trained in cultivation techniques, and he passed on his skills to the village. Basri and Golap now earn almost four times more than they used to. Saya punya nana, kasihan kami mau dapat uang dari mana untuk apa nana bisa biaya sekolah. Tapi ada hanya kalau nah, dia punya luka ini cepat sembuh. Today the villagers can work throughout the year, and their income stand a good chance of growing because Iskak the buyer is impressed with what she sees. Rencana ke depan kita uh, dan mereka bisa menghasilkan cukup banyak rumput laut dari wilayah ini. Kami ingin menjalin hubungan jangka panjang dengan mereka sehingga mereka menjadi bagi supaya tetap untuk perusahaan nantinya. Indonesia as a whole exported nearly 180 million US dollars worth of seaweed in 2012 and has now become the largest producer in the world. Basri for one is excited about the future. Ketika perusahaan kalau langsung kerjasama dengan ketika itu eh, kami bisa untuk eh, melebarkan labuan-labuan eh, kami Pak untuk lebih banyak lagi penanaman. Seaweed has transformed the prospects for both Basri and the whole village. So he's wasting no time and has already brought his whole family into the business. Karena harapan saya bahwa mengajar anak saya sehingga bisa dia melanjuti sampai anak cucu kami begitu. Tujuan dari kami seperti itu.